Feed me Seymour! I'm hungry. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay. Just kidding, guys. Yeah. Welcome to our channel. I'm Ponch. I'm Riley. And this is something new to us. Yeah. Um, we're not used to this type of filming and this type of thing, but, well, I've got a lot of requests on my other social media sites that I kind of post and advertise our little films we make on. Yeah. So we decided that for now on, we might throw in some of these videos and tutorials on how we do some of our effects, whether it be digital, practical, just comedy takings, yeah. 3D printing, making of anything. I like to consider myself a jack of all trades when it comes to art, I yeah. guess. I mean, puppet. Puppet making goes a long way. You know, painting, 3D printing, even. Whatever we can do to make our films a little less costly? Yeah. Yes, a little less costly. Now we're going to do it. Well, with that being said, I think today's tutorial is going to be on. What are we going to do it on? Um, mm -hmm. we have a bunch of films. What should we do it on? We could go back and show some of the practical effects in the Lost Boys one? Mm -hmm. The Frog Brothers? No? How about the one we're working on now? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, digital effect? Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's do the digital effect. What are we gonna do? Guy Ritchie, Ritchie Montage. Montage! That's right! We are gonna show you how we performed our Guy Ritchie mm -hmm. style montage. Hot for our upcoming film. It's not on our channel yet, so you'll probably get this video before it comes out. Yeah. So this is just a little something something for you, right? Yes. Let's get at the tutorial. Oh, wait, before you take off. Just kidding. Okay, guys, let's get started with this tutorial. So I am using PowerDirector 17 and PhotoDirector. You can use any video editing software or photo editing software to do this. I chose this because this is what I've had and I can't afford After Effects and stuff, stuff like that right now. Anyways, let's get started. So here I'm just trying to line up where I want the montage to start. I have found my spot. I'm going to right click on the um, video and I'm going to split it there. I am then going to take a screenshot. The screenshot's what we're going to use for the montage later. So here I am going to save my screenshot where I can easily find it, as my computer doesn't always save where I would like. So I'm finding the file that I want, I'm going to give it a name and I'm going to save it there. Then I am going to turn off or close out of this power director session after I save the whole thing so I can save what I have done and I'm gonna open up a new one that's gonna make it easier for me to do certain things that I want to do to it later um, with cropping pan zoom all that stuff if I do it all in here then I'm gonna have to zoom in on every effect layer separately and sometimes that's a pain and I want everything to be zoomed in for my montage all at the same time so I'm gonna do it do all my editing in another thing and then I'm gonna bring it back in here to do my zooming and and sound effects and stuff um, so here what I'm doing guys is I'm just open power director back up in a new thing and I'm gonna bring in all the files that I want my background files um, the snapshot and everything um, you can get backgrounds on Google you know, wherever you have a source, photos, whatever you want to use for a background, you can bring it in. Um, I had already had some edited ones that I messed around with, and I'm just bringing them in quick. Um, that kind of went fast, but I'm also bringing in, as you can see, I'll be bringing in the photo over top of the background. Um, I'm going to bring in the photo over top of the background right now and then I'm going to click on fix and enhance on the photo after I select the photo or the snapshot whatever you want to call it and I'm going to bring it in the photo director. Now in photo director I am going to select the background removal tool and I am going to start removing the background here 
which once I get into it, I'll speed through the process a little bit. But basically you want to click on your background removal tool here and start selecting it. I have smart select on, sometimes it's easier not to, but then you can also adjust the stuff. Now here I'm just selecting what I want to keep and then I'm going to remove the background. Um, which I will speed through here. Okay, so now I sped through some of that editing. I am going to hit accept and or apply, I should say, and I remove the background and now I'm just going to click on some of my tools to clean up around the edges so you don't see some of the extra. Um, you might not have seen some of it anyways, but I like to go back through and clean it up. Um, the best I can get it you know um, so here I'm just gonna kinda select a couple areas and I'm gonna clean up then I will go up and I will click um, return at the very top or back I should say is up the top there and that'll send me back into power director um, and I will hit select a, or yes to save changes Now back in Power Director, I am going to go to Fix and Enhance, I believe right here is what I'm going to be doing. Or no, excuse me. I am going to move my clips before I fix and enhance. I'm moving my clip and I'm bringing the snapshot in because the new shot is not lined up. And in order for this to fade in and out good and keep the person in the same place, you want to um, move your new clip that you cropped out and put it in the same location. So I'm going to fiddle with it here and get it all lined up like I would like. Now after you get it where you like, just select OK and it's there. Now what I didn't say was you want to make sure that your edited clip that you cropped out was on top of that one so it's an overlay if you do it the other way around you're not going to be able to see it anyways now I'm moving it back with the background and making sure that I like it and now here's where I'm going to hit fix or enhance and I'm going to go into the colors and all that so I can play around with the colors of the guy I want to make sure that my edited picture is the one selected not the background and I'm just gonna play around with the hues and stuff here until I get them where I like it now for this effect that I'm doing I wanted more of a black and gray um, and a little bit enhanced detail so I'm gonna drop some of the hues down and I'm um, saturation and etc to make it black and gray now in any of your editing software you can do whatever you like you can have it look cartoony you can have it whatever as long as you have the software to do it and how you want to do it for your film the sky's the limit it's all up to your imagination and what you're going for okay now that I've got where I liked I clicked out of it and now I'm going into the title so I clicked on my title sequence and I'm gonna put the title in that I like now here I messed up when you put your title in you should have it the same length as your clip I ended up moving mine so later on it didn't fit and I had to go back and adjust things so so you don't have that problem just make sure your title starts from beginning to end just like your your photos do your background and your your video of of um, or your excuse me your photo of your guy as you can see you can see the gap I had in the beginning that's where I messed up it should be full and I'm doing my title separately um, I'm also gonna play with the color here which I'm not gonna get into in this video I'm actually gonna speed through this part but you can ch if you haven't learned about titles yet feel free to message me on my Facebook my Instagram and or comments on this and we can go into working with titles 
Again, it's going to be different for every program. I'm using PowerDirector 17. Some people have After Effects and others. Um, the concept of this is going to work in all of them, though. Okay, so now I got my titles and everything the way I want them. I am clicking OK, and I'm playing through just to watch it. Now, see, in the beginning, you could see that it took a second for the lettering to come in. That's going to mess me up later on. But if you fill it and make everything the same length, you'll be okay. Um, now that I've got titles and background and everything good, I'm going to render my video. And then I will pull it back into my other um, actual video to do the, the sound effects that I want to do, um, sizing, etc., etc. So we'll just render this and then we'll pull it back into the other video. Okay, now I'm just going to open and import the other my original video that I want to bring this into, which usually takes a while, but I'm going to speed through it right here um, because I have a lot of stuff going on. So now we're back in, and it automatically started up where I needed it. Well, since I've already rendered a lot, I have to go through and select a bunch of and shrink everything down in my timeline and grab all my clips after to move all at once so I don't mess a lot of things up. The only thing I'm not going to grab is my music that I have in there. So now I'm going to highlight all of them and move them all at once. If you've got a shorter video and you only have to move a couple or one thing, that's, that's great. I... This was an afterthought, so when we decided to bring these in, so I had to do this. Now I'm going to import the rendering that I just made for my montage. So now that my montage is loaded and I'm going to trim and fit it to this spot. Um, and the reason is, is just so I can size everything up. Now I have other montages in here already that I have originally sized up to a certain time frame. So I'm going in right now and just setting that time frame in place. So this space will be what I you know, want it for size wise. All right, so now that I got that clip sized up the way I want it, I'm actually going to go in now and go up to my transitions. Now, you can use any types of transitions you want. Um, I had some that I have already used, so I'm going to go back in. I believe I used a threshold transition here, I think it was. So I'm going to go click on it, and I'm going to put one at the beginning and the end. That's going to give me my fade in and fade out effect that I want with the threshold. Um, again, you can use other ones. I've tried other ones. I like this one the most for this. Um, some of them, though, when you use them, will show black. That's why I'm moving my clip down here, and I'm going to put the original snapshot photo um, above it in, the, in my first channel. That way when it fades it won't have any black or anything behind it it'll actually have the original photo now again some of them don't do that but with I believe this one and a few others it was showing black when it faded in and out and then we'll go back to the thing so I just do this to make sure now as you can see I couldn't find my photo right away so I had to type it in the search bar up the top and there it is now I'm gonna put it in place and size it up
And as you can see here, I'm just going to hit play really quick to see how I like it. And it faded into the transition and faded out fast. I didn't mind the time, so it was okay. I did see a couple pieces afterwards I didn't like, so here I'm just going to mess around and clip those out of there and clean things up and bring my um, files at the end shorter. Um, you might not have to do that. I did. Now, all there is to do is bring in your sound effects. You know, with that fade in and out, you might want a whoosh sound or this and that. So that's what I'm going through here and I'm going to do. I'm going to end up going, and since I already have them in, I'm going to find them. And I'm just going to copy and paste and bring them back to where I want them. Um, if you don't have sound effects already in your video, of course, like your backgrounds and everything, you can get them off Google or there's a bunch of websites that give you royalty free ones. Um, YouTube even has some royalty free ones. You can even make them. Nothing wrong with that. I've made a lot of sounds with the microphone and sound effects or keyboards or whatever. So yeah, here you go guys and this is what you got. Minus the crop and pan zoom type deal, which that can be another tutorial some other time. Oh, I didn't show tonight. how I added that in, but that's at the very end. Um, thanks for watching. All right, guys. So that was the tutorial. Yep. On Guy Ritchie oh, montages. If you like that tutorial, smash that like button. And smash that subscribe button. And get on our channel and be on the lookout for future tutorials and films by me, Ponch. And Riley. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye. See you later, Seymour. Oh, and by the way, I'm not fat. Camera adds 10 pounds. No, he's really fat. <laughs>